Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We gather around the table of the Lord on this memorial of St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr. We ask for intercession that we too may also tread the path of righteousness. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr, St. Lucy, give us new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Thus says the Lord, Woe to the city, rebellious and polluted, to the tyrannical city. She hears no voice, accepts no correction. In the Lord she is not trusted. To her God she is not drawn near. For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they all may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. 
From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day, you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then will I remove from your midst the proud braggarts, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst, a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that he may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Please stand. Do not delay. Forgive the sins of your people. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the chief priests and the elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. The son said in reply, I will not. But afterwards, he changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in, he said in reply, Yes, sir, but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, The first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, Tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated.
the parable that Jesus depicted in our gospel is a perfect description to the saying, actions speak louder than words. But let us not simply look at the parable that Jesus gave. We must also consider to whom Jesus was addressing the parable. He was not simply addressing it to the crowd, nor, we, nor was he addressing it to his disciples. He was asking, he was addressing it to the chief priests and the elders. And if we take into consideration the audience or to whom Jesus was addressing it, we would better understand what Jesus was pointing to. And why was Jesus addressing this parable to the chief priests and the elders? For us to understand what righteousness really means. Two things. First, righteousness would also mean consistency. The chief priests and elders were righteous people. How? They were knowledgeable about the scriptures. They were knowledgeable about the law of Moses. But they do not, un they do not truly understand what they know. Alam nila, gamit, alam nila, gamit ng kanilang utak, pero hindi naman nila nauunawaan kung ano yung alam nila. Hindi nila nauunawaan kung paano isasabuhay yung alam nila. They simply see it as restrictions. And as long as they follow what should not be done, they feel that they are okay. They focus, they focus too much on what should be avoided, but they fail to live as a human person. Secondly, righteousness must also be accompanied with humility. Masarap yung pakiramdam ng pagiging tama. Minsan, pinagdidiinan pa nga natin sa iba, tama ako, mali sila. Tama tayo, mali sila. Para bang sinasabi din natin sa loob, na, sa loob, -loob natin, mas okay yung lugar ko dahil ako yung tama. But righteousness is not a license for us to act in such a manner. This was the attitude of the chief priests and the elders. Since they were the ones who were knowledgeable, they felt superior over others. They saw themselves as the better persons. But righteousness is not a, is not a badge for us to lord over the people. Dahil hindi naman lahat ng pagkakataon nasa tama tayo. When we see that we are on the path of righteousness, it is only a means for us to help and to guide. And guidance is not simply saying what is right and what is wrong. Guidance would also mean walking side by side with others. Sometimes righteousness has been painted in a negative manner because it has always been connected with the chief priests and the elders. They are often described as people who are convinced too much of their own righteousness. They are too convinced that they don't see themselves as sinners. But what can we learn from our gospel and from the points that has been given to us? Simply put, righteousness is God's desire for all of us. Ayaw naman ng Diyos na malagay tayo sa mali. Yun lang din yung hangad niya para sa atin. Yung mailagay, mailugar yung ating sarili kung saan ang tama. And the standard for, and the standard for righteousness is Jesus. Not ourselves. That was the flaw of the chief priests and the elders. They have set themselves as the standards for righteousness. But Jesus must always be our standard for righteousness. Why? Because he is consistent with his words and actions. 
And with His consistency, He is also the perfect guide on the path of righteousness. Sino po ba yung pamantayan natin? Si Jesus ba? O yung sarili natin? Dahil kung yung sarili lang natin yung pamantayan natin, lagi lang natin ipagdidiinan na tama tayo. At magiging sarado yung ating sarili sa pakikinig sa iba. Pero kung si Jesus ang pamantayan natin, ibig sabihin, handa pa tayong matuto. Ibig sabihin, handa pa tayong magpagabay. Please stand. It is often that we do not clearly understand God's plan for us. Let us ask God the Father that we may know His will and fulfill them. For every intention we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father and the bishops of the Church may have the courage and strength to respond generously in guiding the faithful under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as a community, we may base our lives on the mercy and compassion of Christ and not on pretentious attitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That in our own lives, we may be honest and sincere and respond to the will of God with unquestioning obedience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that the sick and the brokenhearted may experience the love and compassion of Christ in those who take care of them. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the, the dead may experience everlasting joy in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord our personal intentions, and we remember all the people are asking for our prayers and for all the people whom we promise to pray for. Heavenly Father, pour out your grace upon us. Help us to carry out the promises we make with a sincere heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of St. Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Lucy, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Saint Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.